So here we are. We've got a sub base in place. It's compacted and now it's time to put in our bedding course. For this, we're going to be using a sharp sand and it's so important that your sharp sand has enough moisture content and the best way to test that to see if it forms a ball. So what Dave's doing here now is setting in the screed rails. The screed rails he's using in this case is a 30 millimeter rail. What that 30 millimeter rail would do will to ensure that he uses the correct depth of sand that is required for the bedding course. So as you can see, Dave's got the rails firmly in place. He's packing the sand either side of the rail to ensure that, that we don't get any movement. But what we need to do now, we need to use a string line from A to B and to ensure that we haven't got any sagging in the rails throughout the distance. So what we're doing now, Dave is ensuring that the rail is to the correct height with the string line. So what Dave has done now, he's set up the second line from threshold to threshold. He's got the screed rail underneath that line and he's checking that we have the correct depth. Right, okay, so what we have here now, you can see the laying course slowly coming to life. We've got the two screeding rails either side running parallel, and Dave is using a screeding bar and floating as he goes to achieve the required level. And as you can see, he's pulling the screeding bar over the screeding rails as he goes, and it's leaving a perfectly smooth finish. So what we're doing now, we're pulling the screed rail back and it's creating a void. So we put the extra sand in to ensure that there's no voids in our laying course. And what we're doing in this case, we're using a plastic float to ensure a good level. Filling the void as we go 